At the start of every launch vehicle program, one of the most important things is aerodynamics because you need to understand if you can control the vehicle, if it's going to do what you want it to do, and you need to know how much payload you're going to get to orbit. And those are requirements that we work on early on, and uh, this type of testing is the key to understanding those things. In this particular type test, what we do is uh, we'll be passing air at various speeds or Mach numbers over the model, and we'll be measuring the forces, uh, all six degrees, so we'll be measuring forces and through axes and also moments uh, the yawing, pitching, rolling moments uh, for the vehicle and we'll be putting that into a database that will be used for guidance, navigation and control. This tunnel has an advantage of being small and small means that it's cheap to build the models, it's cheap to operate electrically to, to pass the mass flow air through here, the energy consumption is low, so this tunnel has the advantage of being inexpensive. So in the case of this particular test, we've done over 400 runs with each configuration and each configuration takes 10 data points, so we have lots of data that we uh, pull out of each set of uh, wind tunnel runs. Ultimately, wind tunnel testing is not that expensive when you look at the large quantity of data that we get out of each set of tests. So one of the reasons we still use wind tunnels is actually that they're less expensive than some of the other techniques. So we try to use the right tool with the right amount of resources to solve our problems, and we've been a lot more lean in SLS than we were on Ares uh, or certainly Shuttle or Saturn. Saturn didn't have the tools that we have today and they didn't have the history that we have today. We leveraged a lot off of flight reports from Saturn and understanding the interaction with the atmosphere for the, uh, for the rockets that flew in the Apollo time. So, um, so a, lot of, a lot of our benefit is just through intelligently looking at all the history that we've been able to accumulate and, and doing things just a little more efficiently. Well, it's exciting. I, I don't know anybody on our team that's not excited, that doesn't want to go do space exploration. Uh, this is the best job in the world. We love what we do.